All right, guys, where should we start? Um, thinking back, we had a pretty turbulent year, as most of you probably know. But uh, before that, it was yeah, tons of fun. <laughs> We just spent a couple of cool days um, shooting in Monaco. Um, I, got, I got the whole Formula One experience. <laughs> Get a leg! Hey, I'm Alex and I work as Fabio's manager. When I heard that uh, Fabio wanted to have me on the trip to Monaco as well to do kind of like the project management for it, I was yeah, definitely stoked. And it was great to, to go on the road with those guys, but it's, yeah, to be honest, it's also quite exhausting sometimes. Santé! 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 Café Phil. Cappuccino beer. Give me more. <laughs> We're going to party. Uh, oh. It's not about how we win, it's just a matter of when we win. Uh, look at him. Let's go. No. Sometimes I also have to take care of all those guys while we're on the road because, yeah, it's, it's sometimes hard for them to take care of themselves. Just living, living the best life, to be honest. Then we went on to, um, to France. We're going cliff jumping. What's wrong with this guy? I don't know. I was so sure that Fabio, he just needs to send it. If he sees cliffs, he needs to jump. <laughs> Which wasn't a good idea, to be honest. And I hurt my neck. And we had an upcoming shoot in Barcelona. It's so funny that he always, always injures himself when he's not on the bike. So that w definitely wasn't ideal because I was injured and I had to get my body somehow ready for the shoot because it was actually super important to be there. We went there, went to Barcelona, then we did the shoot. I was actually able to do the shoot even if I had quite some pain. And then we finished the whole Barcelona trip, went to France where we had our hotel, we checked in. And then Hannes asked me, where's my backpack? And I said, I don't know. And then Marius said, where's my backpack? And I said, I don't know. It's all the equipment, all the crazy footage, all the good memories, just gone. We got properly dropped while the car was parked in Barcelona, 650 kilometers or something away from where we currently at. Eigentlich habe ich noch gedacht, der Alex hat uns verarscht, weil von mir war ja wirklich alles weg. Ohne alles weg. Also ich bin eigentlich so nach Hause gekommen wieder und das war ja richtig scheiße. 
<laughs> so that was probably the worst ending to a trip that can happen. At least we still had some footage left from Andreas, um, from Andreas' camera. We went on to motor trips, a couple of them. Uh, one of them was in Italy. Super, super cool crew. All the guys uh, were there, did some filming there. Just having a really good time. And most of you guys know my background is actually motocross racing. Uh, I raced for 10 years. It's been a really big passion of mine and I was lucky enough to start, um, to start a year ago again with riding. So yeah, it's definitely a big part of my heart. After this, Crankworks, Innsbruck. Okay guys, so I'm about to race my first race after probably a year or even more. Either um, I go on full send and maybe it works out, but sometimes it doesn't. I crash. So I think we've got those two options. Ah, it's always a very weird feeling, especially you know, I'm like making videos. Most of the times I'm not used to that pressure of racing. Um, but you know, I want to race fast, so that's my uh, that's my goal. You know, sometimes I race uh, down in races. It's just not my focus, to be honest. And I actually did quite well. I felt pretty good on the bike. Um, unluckily, I then had quite a funny crash on the bridge. I was just uh, going a bit too fast, went sideways. And it was super slippery, especially on the wood. And uh, like directly in front of the camera. Um, yeah, I had a quite funny crash. And I think I wasn't too far away uh, from the top guy here, but um, yeah. See what happens. And now we're gonna go and ride some street. <laughs> That's better. Not the best way to end Crankworx Innsbruck, but uh, anyways, it was fun. We even went to Zurich on a video project, uh, and then we also had to cancel that, as um, Alex and myself, we thought we, uh, we had Corona. <laughs> So, so we had to go back even if we didn't have it then. So it felt like it felt like the past few months were just were just insanely hard. Maybe maybe we even did too much. Uh, that's probably the reason why. Fabio! Can we then receive an email which could save our year? What would song when it's song X Games? I think it was Clay Harper. Um, about him wanting Fabio to be part of the real MTB X Games video contest. Every one of us was super stoked because we thought, well, this is going to be our thing. Being invited to X Games is a huge deal, not just for Fabio, also for us, because it's, it's a team effort and the video quality gets also judged. So that was like, the stoke level was high and we were immediately thinking about ideas and what we could do. That was the perfect chance for Fabio to win his first X Games medal uh, because a video part uh, with mountain bike riding is the perfect competition for him, for sure. One day before we are leaving, uh, we, we still don't have a plan. <laughs> but I think I've got the feeling that we are in a good way and we get kind of like a rough idea of what we want. Du warst eigentlich ja schon recht an geilen Start. Wenn so alle Runden fliegt schon davor und irgendwie wieder aufgekommen oder ich weiß nicht. And then we suddenly came to the conclusion, okay, let's go to France. Uh, we've been there, we, we know the country a bit. It's a super cool country. It offers a lot of different things. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome, uh, the variety of everything. And we prepared for the longest trip we've done so far, because we had some quite interesting ideas. Geben im Milz! We are now going to start our trip with uh, packing our cars. This is gonna take seven to eight hours, I think, because we have fucking a lot of stuff. So. We've got two Mercedes uh, vans, so hopefully we can fit everything in. We've got too many, too many bikes, I would say. What is the aufgabe? My job is uh, basically to get you guys to get shit done, because otherwise we just fool around. I mean, we, you can you can never have too many bikes, but uh, we've got e-bikes, motocross bikes, we've got downhill bikes, the torque. You can also call it boss. Basically. So 
richtige Stapelleistung. Sauber. Bam. Honestly, that project, it felt like it's going to be our biggest project ever. And also the project where we, where we put in the biggest effort and the, the passion. Like the pure passion was just for that project. We did some location checking, we went to, um, to Lyon. We even had a look at the 25 stairs again. Which brought up some really good memories. This is, it, it's, it was very dangerous last year. But like every time when you see it, it's so big. But it's, uh, it's just like good to remember back to it. Okay, so we're in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Somewhere in France. Uh, we're surrounded by a couple of mountains. So um, this looks like a good free ride spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Auf mit dir, Hanne! It felt like we got the whole French countryside experience. Um, I was handling uh, all the guys' needs. Uh, uh, management. Dun, 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 elbow to the chin. For example, they said, hey, where are we going next and do we have a hotel already? So after experience this, we had to get some proper food uh, in the city. And as you guys know, it wouldn't be me without stairs. So we were trying to find a perfect city for some bit of urban free riding, as this is part of the whole video, of the whole concept. And uh, we found actually Marseille to be probably a really good spot, I guess. Um, we are at the first spot and it already looks pretty good. So we're gonna check out the whole city and see if we can find some proper urban free riding spots. Yahoo! And then of course at Royal Hills, cause that place is just amazing. I give you love two wheels, that's the place to be. It's like so big with a lot of uh, motocross tracks, supercross tracks and um, bike tracks as well. So, this is some of our schlechter location check. Geil, geil. So for the video we wanted to have some big jumps for the bike. And to get used to those jumps I thought the best way um, would be to try it on the motorbike. Six or seven? Ba bam! It's six. Six. We've done pretty much. Uh, Fuck you guys. We went to all the locations pretty much, but I'm not quite sure if we have everything which we need for the video. So uh, today it's probably gonna be a motor day. Fabio told me that he wanted to actually try kind of a turn down whip, and I just uh, did a couple of big jumps on the motorbike over and over again. We did it like. 20, 30 times and I could really see the improvement in his movement. He was really like at the beginning, you could barely see the turn down whip, but on the last few tries it was clearly that he really got the movement and it looked, it looked sick for sure from my angle. I think somehow my brain stopped properly working and I somehow touched the front brake midair while the bike was sideways. And from that moment on I was uh, in a pretty bad situation. The only thing I have still in my mind is like the sound of him touching the ground, but also the motorcycle, the motorbike crashing and like rolling over for like three or four times. It was just like, yeah, scheiße. Things changed. Oh, 
schnell vor jeder Traum von einer X-Games-Medaille.